Good afternoon and welcome to Countdown. Now, did you know that apparently the average woman will spend the equivalent of one whole month applying fake tan to herself during her lifetime? Absolutely astonishing. All that time wasted, really, on looking anything but naturally sun-kissed. Unless, of course, you're a satsuma or an umpa lumpa. Um, and, <laughs> and the stuff gets everywhere, doesn't it? What a mess it creates. It's on the towels, the sheets, um, the, the bathroom mirror, the light switches. I'm going to stop using it, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's introduce our own English rose, Rachel Riley. Rachel? Yeah. You are a lover of... False tanning? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, in a word. No. no, never use fake tan. I, I suppose the good thing, I mean, some people do go way over the top, don't they? But the good thing yeah. is it, it, you know, it can be safer than, than really being tanned, you know? No, not as enjoyable. Yeah, or you could just not bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you could. <clears throat> you could. Uh, you could have not bothered, of course, as well, because um, a friend of mine gave me a cutting this morning, which I hadn't seen in a newspaper um, two or three weeks ago, in which you described me as your cheesy uncle. It's terrible how you get misquoted in the press, isn't it, Jeff? Yes. <laughs> what, what did you really say? Your, your best pal, your handsome mate, your northern knight in shining armor? Were those the phrases you really used? Definitely. All of those were said. Mm. It's mm. funny that they picked the cheesy uncle one. Yeah, it is strange, yes. <laughs> strange that your nose is extending in length all the time. <laughs> Let's meet our contestants, shall we? First of all, our returning champion, Mary Aidy, who's back for her third appearance. She beat Graham Hill on Friday, and she was involved in a fantastic battle with Barbara Grice yesterday, eventually winning on a second conundrum. Uh, Mary is a retired bank worker. She comes from Glasgow, and uh, she'd love to travel. The sort of places you'd like to go, Mary, uh, Canada and New Zealand. Why those particular places? Just to have relatives who had emigrated to there quite some years ago. And top of my list was actually to visit New Zealand and go to Christchurch. Oh, right. And then with the earthquake, I thought, hmm, am I meant to visit there or not? So maybe further on in the year I might manage to, to visit. Hmm. Maybe Canada might go at the top of the list I for a while so. then. I think so. Go there first. OK. Uh, up against Mary today is our challenger, Aidan Casey. Aidan comes from Clonmel in County Tipperary. He's currently a retail assistant but has a master's degree in bioinformatics. So, Aidan, what the heck is bioinformatics? Well, I've studied it for 12 months, Jeff, and I still don't even know myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, it's, um, it's where computer science meets biology, and you're using computer science tools and applying it to biological data, you know. So, okay. very interesting. So, what, what sort of work does it lead to? Uh, well, I'm currently unemployed, so we'll find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> Aidan, you've got a claim to fame, which is that your voice features on the uh, boxed set, the limited edition box set of the uh, American hit series Lost. How yeah. did that happen? Um, I saw myself and a, a friend of mine, uh, we recorded ourselves talking about the show and sent it to them because they, they advertised that they were going to include, you know, thoughts of fans around the world and they used none of my footage. <laughs> So, uh, but I, I did get one of the questions I asked. You could hear my voice for about <laughs> ten seconds. Ah, well, there we go. Yeah, so. Lost, eh? Let's hope that's not prophetic in terms of today. Yeah. Our challenger, <laughs> Aidan Casey, and our champion, Mary Aidy. <laughs> and in Dictionary Corner once again today, uh, alongside Susie Dent, it's uh, genuinely lovely lady, Carol Smiley. All those travel shows you've been involved with, Carol, yeah. you've never needed a fake tan, I assume. I, I actually have never used fake tan because I'm very dark-skinned anyway, but mm. um, I'm very grateful that I don't have to. But, but if I was pale, I probably would. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Susie, you're, <laughs> you're a lover of the pale and interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I am very, very pale. I'll tell you one, one thing that always changes my skin is eating carrots, believe it or not. It, make, it makes such a they difference. They say so. If you drink carrot juice, concentrated carrot juice, you can go quite... Orange. orange. Yeah. Rub carrot, juice. An orange carrot juice on you, that makes you orange yeah. as well. Yeah. True. Yeah. I have to try that. <laughs> Let's press on with the contest, shall we? Mary is our champion and such gets first pick of the letters. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Quite Mary. Excellent, please. Thank you. Start today with M. And another. S. And another. L. And another. G. And a vowel. U. And another. A and another O 
And a consonant. A. And a vowel. And a final E. And for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Aidan, how many? Uh, six, Jack. And Mary? Seven. OK. What's the six, Aidan? Uh, galore. And the seven, Mary? Glamour. Glamour. Mm. Yes, beautiful word. Um, very good, indeed. And galore is also nice. I couldn't come up with anything more, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. uh, so, a good start for Mary. She's on the scoreboard with seven. Here's Aidan's chance to get off the mark, because it's his pick of the letters. Off you go. Afternoon, Rachel. Afternoon, Aidan. Uh, can I start with a consonant, please? You can, thank you. Start with H. And another one, please. D. And a third. R. Uh, vowel, please. U. And another one, please. A. And a third. I. A uh, consonant. S. Uh, another consonant. G. And a final vowel, please. And a final E. And your 30 seconds starts now. Mary, how many? Seven. And Aidan? Just six again. OK. What's the six, Aidan? Uh, argued. And the seven, Mary? Shadier. Mm, shadier. Excellent. Very, Very good. good. What else have we got, uh, Carol, Susie? We've got sugared. Sugared, as in almonds. Mm. Seven. Nice. Um, yes, guiders. Uh, another possible seven, guiders. OK. A few sevens around, then. Mary found one of them. She moves on to... 14, Aidan, just waiting for you off the mark. Let's see if you can do it in this round. Mary, it's your pick. Consonant, please. Thank you, Mary. P. And another. M. And another. S. And another. N. And another. L. And a vowel. A. And another. E. And another vowel. I. The consonant. And lastly, R. Time starts now. <laughs> 